another fun <coughs> start again hello hi guys we're here in southern california in the beautiful sunshine it's about 75 degrees most of you have seen a lot of my cars on instagram and I thought I'd give you a little close-up tour of each one. So we're going to start off today with the Wraith, uh, AKA Panda. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, have nicknamed my cars and I really appreciate that because it uh, makes it a lot of fun. Uh, and this particular car actually inspired the Black Badge Edition together with the guys over at Rolls-Royce. Uh, let's have a little peek inside. So it has suicide doors, which are huge, absolutely huge. And uh, one of the functions of this car is, that's great is if you're in the actual car and you wanted to close the door, you can't reach it. So Rolls-Royce were very clever. They put these buttons. I'll press one and show you what it does. Which is kind of fun, right? Um, whilst we're here at the door, we'll get into the inside tricks a little later on, but it has some nice gimmicks. Inside here, this fender, there's an umbrella. Um, there's one in each each door just in case it's raining and they tell me I've never used them but they tell me that it's heated in here so in fact if you get it wet the heat will dry it so uh, one of the exterior tricks I put these uh, GFG rims on the car to you know, give it a little bit more sporty look it has the floating center caps they're always vertical so when I'm driving that will always stay vertical. It actually never wobbles like that. I just did that with my finger. But it always stays like when I drive, which is kind of cool. And then uh, as we get to the back of the car, it has another fun feature. So imagine I'm holding a big box and I want to get in the trunk. Uh, as long as you've got the key in your pocket, you can just put your foot underneath the back here and theoretically the trunk opens. How about that? That's pretty cool, right? So um, don't look inside the trunk, it's a, it's a mess. But press that little button there and away she goes. What we did here was we took a standard car, which was white at birth. I blacked out all the chrome, um, the accents around the lights and trims around the windows, etc. This is a satin black, which goes the full middle of the car, the middle section of the car. The badges, which Rolls-Royce are very, very picky about, um, we, we hand, well, somebody hand painted the inside of these and anodized them black. It's pretty cool looking and they did a fabulous job. When you lock the doors of the car, the flying lady, the, ex, the spirit of ecstasy actually goes down. I shall, I shall press the button and show you how that operates. It's pretty cool. So here we go. One, two, three. And that disappears. And you want it to come back up and one, two, three, there she is. This little guy here is the iDrive and it actually controls pretty much everything. So you can move it in any direction and I'll show you shortly how some of those functions work. But the one cool thing about it, when you're driving, if you want to make a phone call, for example, I can just use my finger on here. So let's do the number one and you'll see it come up on the screen here. Um, so here we go. There's the number one. And then we can do number two, two, three, three, four, etc., etc. And then if I want to actually dial the number that I put in here, I just press it down and it'll connect me. So that's a pretty cool function. Then we have some other very cool functions. Um, we have what we call night vision and night vision, which I've just switched on there. Uh, I don't know how much you can see because it's a bright day but um, there is a full night visual and it alerts me of any warm character. So if a human was to walk in front of the car, they would glow. Uh, I actually have a friend outside. Maybe we can have him do that. Let's, let's get our glamorous assistant. Here's uh, Alex Delaram, everybody. You'll know him from other videos. Could you do us a favor and walk in front of the car in a minute? So just stand here for a second, stand off to the side. And then when I say, if you just walk straight in front of the car. So if somebody uh, walks in front of the car when you're driving, this is what you'll see. Um, so this is night vision. And there is <laughs> Alex glowing in yellow. He looks quite good. And coincidentally, he's wearing a yellow shirt, but that's got nothing to do with it. Now the camera system that this car has is really impressive. 
we have Alex outside the car. Thank you, Alex, for assisting. He's going to walk around the car, and you'll see him. This is the view that I have as the driver as he walks around the car, and it constantly shows what the surroundings are. So if I turn the wheel, uh, it will tell me if I'm going to hit or not. So I can turn the wheel, and as I turn it, it shows the green line, and it will show me whether or not I would hit Alex. Also, I can change the perspective. So now I hit that button. Alex, if you could please walk up and down the side of the car. There he goes. So he's going to walk around the other side of the car. I guess he's getting there right now. And maybe there he goes again. So you can see everything in all different angles, which is kind of cool. Nice jeans, Alex. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. In my vision here in the glass, we have what you call heads up display. And the heads up display gives you whatever information you have programmed in the car. So currently uh, it's showing me the speed limit of this road and it's saying I'm doing zero miles an hour. That's because I'm stationary. Um, if I was to put an address into the navigation, the arrows and turns, everything would come up in the glass right in front of me. We have massaging seats. So if you want to massage while you're driving, you can do that. I am able to control also the passenger seat from my electric controls here. I just press one button and that will now allow me to move. Oops, no, that's the wrong button. It's this button. And now I can move the passenger seat remotely. Uh, why I would ever want to do that, I don't know, but it allows you to do it anyway. We have a lane departure warning. If you look on the dash here, you'll have to zoom into the dash. Um, there are some yellow lines. And what the, these yellow lines do is when I'm driving down the road, any speed above 40 miles an hour, if I'm veering out of the lane, it will recognize that and this will become double and the steering wheel will start to shake. It gives you a vibration input. So if you're falling asleep, you know to wake up and actually do something about it. Um, it has active cruise control, which is another function the car is supposed to, I don't know if this is true or not, supposed to not let you hit something. So if I'm going too fast and there's a car in front of me and the car decides that I can't brake in time, my reflexes won't let me, it will automatically hit the brakes and slow me down or stop me if need be and do whatever it needs to do to avoid a collision. Very, very uh, intuitive and very smart. So when I activate the active cruise, activate the active cruise, there's inside the dash, here I'll switch it on you'll see cruise ready and these two lights those are the the, the monitors that actually tell me if another car is in my vicinity or, or an obstacle and that's what uh, lights up and tells me if I'm gonna hit something and then the car stops me doing it one of the funnest things in the car is the headliner now I'm not quite sure how much you're gonna see in the daylight but we can make this brighter um, so now I'm making this as bright as it will go at night time you kind of like a a goldfish in a bowl because it's very very bright in here but this is the stars uh, as seen at Goodwood in England the factory uh, where they build these so if you were to look up at night from the factory this is what you would see on a clear night so you've got to hope there's no fog for that because in England you know we're a bit notorious for having fog so another fun feature most cars have a rev counter this car doesn't well it kind of does but they do it differently so this is the power reserve right now it's telling me i have a hundred percent left as i rev the engine you can see that moves up and it takes a lot i've still got eight i'm really hitting it hard and it's still giving me 90 percent of power left now that changes of course when i drive but it goes backwards cool stuff right only rolls royce so the reason i drive this car every day it truly offers everything comfort performance luxury um Maybe a little bit pompous because it's a Rolls Royce, but I think with it being as sporty as it is, it, it allows me to go anywhere and do anything with it. And I truly love it. It's one of my favorite cars. I think you all know that Ferrari is my brand of choice, but as a daily driver, it doesn't get any better than this. Anyway, guys, so I hope you have enjoyed this uh, little walk around the car and I uh, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget that little bell button that I just learned about in the last video hit that and you'll be notified when i upload a video see you later guys thanks so if i press this i can ask it to do something 
dial office. Did you say acid thunder? <laughs> <laughs> I did not say acid thunder. <laughs>